Okay, so I'm going to show you today how to fit a um, yellow lock uh, with these bumps here, which uh, you can't push in just in case you're wondering. That you just do that, keep it like this, straight down, feed it through the back, through the hole as much as possible. That means moving it up and down and whatever. Best time, best thing to do as well, do it in daytime. So do it in the daytime, but that's basically it. Feed it through from the outside. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. How to, so first step one, just get rid of the old cylinder lock. Quite simple. Right, here's this, put this key in here. And you see this uh, screw here? You just want to just get rid of that screw first. Um, let's just get rid of the screw. I'm doing this one-handed so I can hold the phone whilst I'm videoing. Okay, so once this is out, then you can, when you go to pull it out, when you go to pull this out, that little black thing inside is sticking up. So for this, I had to turn it about just about 45 degrees. Just, but either way, you can just move it around until this thing is straight. See, that, that's the little thing that catches. All right, that is on the side. Now, you can't just put this directly into there because it's got these bumps. Um, and you can't even feed it through from the outside because your handles are in the way. So we've got to take the handles off. That's step two. Okay, well, stupidly enough, I actually closed the door while I took the handle off, so I needed to put it back on to just kind of give me that lever. Anyway, take the handle off, put the handle down, and um, take the back handle off. Okay, that's the back handle. We'll keep the back handle outside, because again, we're gonna do all this on a sunny day. And that's it. Right. And now if you look through here, the dimples will still not fit through there. They still won't fit through there. So, but we know that this is the external part, you see, external, and that's the internal part. Now the dimples are there, so if we pushed it in this way, it would stop here and it wouldn't get to that hole. So we have to push it in from the outside. Turn this like this, which you see with the catch out, the catch is out there, right? But I need this top bit here to stay straight so that I can feed it through. So let's feed it through. There's the top bit. See, it's a bit wriggling around, but look, once the top bit's in, that's in, and then I've got the catch. See? I don't know if you can see, but you see the catch. For this from the outside, I don't know if you can see that. But there's the catch there. So now I turn that, turn that dial, get rid of that catch. You see? There's me turning the dial, get rid of that catch down. I pull, and I can push that through because, oh, look, look. See the the bumps are here as well. So just to move it around. There you go. That's it. Feed it through like this. And it's basically through. It should, it should already stop itself at the bumps anyway. And that's basically it. So we're actually in. And that is how you actually get the lock on. And the rest of it, the rest of it is just screw that in, put the door handles back on. And that's basically it. I'll show you obviously in case you needed to see it. Again, I've, I've, you know, that, that's all on. I'm just going to screw this back, screw this in there, and put the door handles on. Door handles I will pretty much go exactly the way that I started. You see that? I'm just gonna get that into the right one. And uh, that in. And look, it sits nice and flush as well. If you've got the right size, obviously go and watch another video on how to measure size if you don't already know how to. I actually almost wanted this to be a bit short because it makes it a little bit safer than if it protrudes. Because the whole point is is that someone will smash this and then they'll break that. But actually, if you, if you really want to go there, you can actually buy anti-snap handles, so they'll find it hard to do this. Uh, that's, that's it, that's all. And then the rest of it is just screwing it in. 